It's called chrome alloy, if that's how you pronounce it. When you look at the 900 hot metal, you'll see on the hosel it says chromoly 4140M. That's a different material that hasn't been used in golf clubs, and we're really excited about it because of what it does. That's staying in the air forever. We get flyers every now and then. I've hit wedges 200 yards out of the semi-rough, and the ball just stays in the air forever. And that sort of gave me that sort of feel to it. This measures right at 0.83 COR. If you look at the drivers, that's the driver legal limit. So it's as fast as a ball can come off the face. The trade-off's always been when you get a club that's hot and really thin, you can't bend it, you can't custom fit it. With this one, you can. So you can keep the COR high, but also get it dialed into your loft and lie specs. Oh, hello. It's not ballooning, it's just staying in the air. It must be that hot metal or that, or that word I've never heard of, something to do with that. The beautiful thing is with the chromoly and how strong it is, how thin we're able to go around the face, you're able to maintain those ball speeds in a larger area. So you get that extra ball speed, that super fast pop off the face, but you get it across the entire face. Very clean iron, I mean, it's solid through the turf, the divots are nice and shallow. No matter the contact, I mean, if that last one wasn't hit as great and it still went 215. I see myself combining this with the 900 Forge and the 900 Tour to make a tiered set where I can get added launch where I need it and more control down the short irons where I'm looking for something that's a little bit more maneuverable. It's definitely keeping the high better yeah. than the other ones, not, not, spinning, not spinning up, up there. I see this golf club as one that speaks to a large variety of players just in different applications. 199.7. Come on. <laughs> I said I'd hit it 200, it went 199.7.